channel. This is Pascal from Little Pathways and if you've watched my first video, this is my second one so far. So I just want to thank you all who supported me by liking, commenting, subscribing or even by just watching the video. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Um, for this video, I'm gonna take you on a small tour of what's going on at Little Pathways this week. Uh, I'll be making a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm thinking of renewing my logo sticker design and creating packaging for some charms. Also, I'll be making some card and print art for my figurines along with other things as well that you will see in my video. So I hope you stick around. This is one of my sketchbooks where I sketch my ideas. And here I was trying to create a character of one of my favorite cupcake charms with full body not just the cupcake charm as I usually do them but I kind of forgot about it and recently I decided to make a new sticker logo design for my shop and to be honest at first I didn't know what it should be since I make a lot of animal characters in my creations and I was wondering whether to choose an animal character or not. Then I remember that I drew this character and I thought why not turn him into my new logo. So I tested the idea out by drawing some leaves and stars around him and um, adding my signature little packlet to the bottom. And yeah, I really loved the whole idea of it and I think it's going to be so cute after I'm done with it. So now I'm redesigning him on my iPad and I'm hoping for the best. choosing this color palette that I think will look great and I'm thinking of making two versions of this design using these two color palette sets so I'm gonna start with these four colors then maybe move to the other ones and see how it goes
other sticker design that I made. I uh, didn't film the drawing process, I don't want to bore you with the details since it's kinda the same, just added the head to it as you can see and the flowers are displayed a little differently well you're probably wondering why the head I think during this period I saw a lot of artists drawing heads in their paintings and I think it's kinda stuck into my head and while I was drawing the design the idea of the head kept popping into my head so I decided to test it out and I kind of fell in love with it. So yeah, this is gonna be the second sticker design, also with a second color variation. I'm really drawn to the red color and the orange in these designs. I think they look so attracting. Also I hope the colors still look the same when I print them out.
I just picked up my sticker from the print house. I'm so happy they are here. The colors are exactly how I want them to be. And I just love the quality of the paper. They're not like my previous ones, actually. So I'm glad I switched my print house. This is one of the logo designs. And this is one of the thank you stickers. Oh, look how cute they are. I'm so in love with them. I think from my experience it's important to try different print shops, not just stick to one because you know the print quality and the paper that they use or have differs from one to other so yeah I think you should try different print houses just to compare you know This is a fox card that I drew to go along with my spirit fox figurine. I printed a bigger size also which I might list on my shop if you guys loved it. I also made a small story card which describes the fox figurine character and how I imagine him. And this is a precious fox figurine. 